Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the daily update. My 1000 days challenge. This is day 349, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, uh, apologies for the late, late update. Actually, I'm just in my work, and I understand that it's actually already the new day already. So, pardon me that the voice may be a little bit softer than usual because it's actually quite late in the night and around 4 a.m. in the morning. I'm trying to just finish this video for yesterday itself. Before I start the day, I go to sleep, then the next day begin. So in terms of the market itself, I haven't had any change in terms of balance over here. But actually, I've closed out two particular trades, which are both short setup for both Ethereum and Bitcoin. So both in terms of profit-wise, I'll update it later tomorrow, or today itself. And then in terms of market structure update itself, just doing a very quick run through, we still look to be bullish in terms of... Uh, US market side of things, as you can see on the S&P 500 and Nasdaq. But do bear in mind that we are looking a little bit overextended. We're very near this top uh, first target that I do see after this strong consolidation period itself. So if we do face some sort of strong rejection and pullback, it will still remain to be healthy in this perspective. Similarly, that's the case for Nasdaq itself. And one thing to bear in mind is you can see over here, I draw potential uh, bullish uh, descending wedge but it didn't happen so I'll just delete this which is why when I see when you're trading in terms of pattern wise do wait until there's a full confirmation in terms of pattern if you want to trade a pattern otherwise until the full confirmation of pattern is formed it is not so called uh, with strong certainty and do bear in mind that you do see that even though prices is forming a lower low you do see a bullish divergence in this perspective and then speaking up in terms of volume wise. So we could potentially be resuming towards the upward trend just as well. So that's something to always bear in mind. And for cable, well, things look a little bit better, but don't bear in mind that volume is not picking up after the first green candle itself, neither is price picking up. So we could be potentially still be dropping over to this uh, strong key support region that I do see thereafter as well. So let's see how price react to it. And finally, for Bitcoin itself, things still looks to be bearish. As what I mentioned before, I've shorted here on the base of the 4-hour chart, and I'm still in terms of this trade setup in terms of a trailing stop loss. So I'm not saying that we are certain to just break below here and just all the way down to 20k and beyond. But what I'm saying is that short term wise, it still remains to be bearish. And until there's strong buying momentum wise, trading wise, protective, I'm still bearish. Uh, long term wise, I'm still bullish in terms of investment wise. So with that said, I've come to the end of today. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop by your comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.